Okay, so I picked up this uh, metal cutoff saw at auction for 30 bucks. Really nice machine. But it has a three phase motor on it, which uh, it's a five horsepower. And it's a ball door, it's a really nice motor. And the only problem is I don't have three phase in my shop. So I knew that going in. And I also know that you can get these three phase uh, pieces of equipment at auction really cheap because most people don't have the three phase. I couldn't resist. So first attempt was to uh, try different motors and stuff and really just didn't have the, the horsepower I needed to keep this saw running. So I picked up one of these uh, three-phase converters. Well, they call it a three-phase converter when you buy it, but when you get it, it actually says on there, digital phase shifter, which is how they do it. I mean, there's no way they're going to invent a third phase with uh, capacitors, which is what's in there, capacitors and resistors, I imagine. The, to just shift one of the phases or two of the phases in a way that the the motor can start. <clears throat> so this one is rated at uh, five to seven and a half horsepower. I went a little bigger. I thought, why not? And uh, the price difference. I think I paid one thirty-five for this. And the uh, if you went front to the five horsepower, it was like one nineteen. It really cheap compared to, to uh, the alternatives so it's rated at 23 amps my motor itself I think is 12 amps um, we'll see what happens a couple things I didn't like about it one is the terminals are all exposed there are no covers so you have to build something to, to cover up all this stuff and uh, I put these lugs on here what they have is just screws and there's no like uh there's no way to hold those big heavy wires under those screws without some sort of terminal so i uh i use these lugs which are they seem to work pretty good so i ran, ran my 120 coming in have it plugged in there it comes into the the switch and then it goes through the switch and then i have 120 coming out which goes right into the uh, phase shifter. So all I'm going to do is take a couple measurements here. Just to, it's not perfect. It's not like having a a uh, motor converter. This is definitely uh, the poor man's version. However, it is good if you have to uh, create a third phase using a a motor. To get that motor started, it's it's really good. I mean, it, you don't need a pony motor to get the the uh, motor started. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start this up, and then take a few measurements. I have a ammeter and a voltmeter, and I'm just going to take. I mean, I, I took these same measurements under load, like when I was cutting this, and I really bore down on it, and it it seems to hold the. Uh, RPM on the motor and everything, so that's that's all good. I took the amp measurements on each leg before and after uh, while it was running and while it was just in the idle position, and there was a little bit of a drop in in the voltage across each leg, but it, it wasn't significant. The only thing I notice is the voltage is high on two of the legs. If I measure voltage between input and each individual phase, um, one of them is, I think, well, you'll see it measures about 40 volts higher, which isn't the best for the motor. I mean, the, the bigger concern would be the amperage difference between each leg. And what that does is it puts extra strain on the, the uh, field windings in the motor. But that's, you know, we'll see how it goes. If I burn the motor out, I burn the motor out and live and learn. However, for now, 
I think uh, this is going to help me get to where I need to be. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start it up, take a few measurements in front of the, the camera here, and uh, you'll see how it works. <laughs> dramatic ending there but anyway it uh, does the job I'm gonna go ahead and use it for now um, so as I mentioned earlier if you do want to put together a, a three-phase uh, converter using a three-phase motor tapping off that third leg um, this would be a great starter for it as opposed to you know running a pony motor so there you have it. 